Hello everyone, I'm Splinter Cell God, and welcome back to Sakura Santa. So, apparently my webcam decided not to record. For whatever reason, it just didn't want to. So I restarted it, and the one that thing that we're going to load is not going to be the same thing as last time. So let's just load where I last, last left off, and try to make it all the way through. Ah, oh, it sucks. <clears throat> I don't know, okay. Traumatic days of your life. Yep, near the end. Dishes everywhere. There she is. Regular day. How you think you did? Did fine. Put terrified. Hands are trembling. Don't force yourself. You still helped her. Yep, yep. Didn't do much. Crowds are amazing. I would have been overwhelmed. Practice, practice. Working for years. Go get changed. You almost join her to change again, which is weird. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Arms are screaming. Aches. Thinking about her. Feelings her middle school never died. A lot of manga. Manga, damn it. So that's the point. Ask her out on a date. And then she comes out with regular clothes on. Yep. Nice to catch up. Yep. See you. Bye dot dot dot. And then he starts, what a day. So basically, one entire day. There's not enough hours in the day. And then his friend Daichi calls about... Um, calls about a game. So he's spending time... Christmas with his girlfriend's family meets this girl they talk about their studies their classes and they mention Itsumi was um, liked him when he was in middle school and now she's back in town because her dad had to get another job elsewhere so he he Daichi wants to get wants uh, Koji to get with her So they say bye time passes what a day yesterday was Yep, yep. She's happy when she smiles feelings. Yep changed Two proud mountains. It's still weird Think about it. All right, so last time the last thing that we did was we went to the cafe So I just have to load. I just have to load up that part. Where does it say? I just need to load the the part where I stopped it at. Yes. It's too late. Okay. So we'll load the game from here again. No. Oh my God! I almost did that. Whew. Go to the cafe. It's time to work again. Not looking forward to it, but want to see her. Ready to work. Good to see her. Yep. Interesting outfit. Outfit's different. You're not any different. She keeps calling him a pervert, saying that there were misunderstandings. She'd so rather get into the... And then this is the part where she talks to him. Um, it's funny. The, the music just is... It's so great. Was it just middle school? Yeah, so this is bonds just don't fade. You might forget about someone or not quite remember their face. It all comes back to you when you meet them again. Yeah. Basically, he was the only friend that Itsumi had in middle school. And Koji didn't really meet anybody else since she was gone. We all have to grow up. You know, it, then he starts talking about of how guys fall for women's breasts and how they conquer entire empires she kind of reads his mind a little bit and then she <laughs> saying that it's a problem they think about her breasts all the time I honestly don't mind I'm older we never be functioning adults it would be how I've missed you forgot about our friendship 
She misses Itsumi. Yep. So it's it's nice. It's a nice little chat with uh with both of these characters. And I really, really appreciate that. Yep, you had to move to another town. She lets it have you sigh. Going anywhere. Do you promise? Never breaks his promises. When well, you're not so busy. Favorite fun things to do? Talk about an adult magazine that Koji tried to steal, but he bought it. He was curious. Hmm, okay. Plenty of things. She gets up her seat. Yep. Yeah, you might want to... Okay, so we keep going. Yep, so this is the part where he's stressed over the fact that there's so many people, there's so many dishes. This is where he starts experiencing what she experienced. There's always more of this, more of that the entire time. So this is where he he starts analyzing her experience and the fact that she's like an expert at this. So he has to keep going doing the dishes. She's trying to encourage him. Yep. Yep. Cat like Grace. Okay. This is where this is where we last stopped. So let's see what happens once we hit this enter button. Oh. Well that's not that bad. As she steps it in, she loses her balance. The drink she's carrying spill, completely coating the front of her dress. Thick, sticky fluids are sprayed everywhere. All over her face, her arms, her breasts. As she stands there, she seems shocked. Ow! She tries to wipe up the front of her chest, only for it to stick to her fingers. Whatever was in those cups, they form sticky, syrupy strands between her fingers. That's not good. I must be overworking myself. That's when I notice that the drinks are beginning to soak into the front of her dress. And that she isn't wearing a bra underneath that outfit. I try to look away, but there's just something bewitching about this scene. And I'm sure every single guy in this cafe is thinking exactly the same thing as I am. Breasts truly do conquer empires, thanks. I can hear them cheering now as she passes by. No. I have to help her. I also have to help myself by wiping all the hair off my glasses. I'll be right back, I gotta check something. Alright, it's all good. No. I have to help her. As much as I enjoy things like this, I really must do something to help her. She doesn't seem embarrassed by it in the slightest, though. I gotta, I gotta click on there. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'll go get your drinks again. It would only take a moment. She quickly pits up her tray and carries on as if nothing happened. But her dress remains soaked and see-through. The sugar from the drinks is growing sticky on her skin, too, making it look even more inappropriate. Um, Itsumi? <laughs> Don't worry, they appear to be pleased by this. Yes, I'm going to worry. She stands still and looks at me. It's only a few spill drinks, Koji. You know that's not what I'm talking about. I look down again, able to see the peaks of her mountains. Would you like me to show the... What? What kind of a question is that? N no! Oh, you don't like my boobs? That's not the issue here. Look, get cleaned up. I'll take over in the meantime. Are you sure you want to do that? I look behind her at the roaring crowd. My instincts are screaming at me to run away. The crowd will eat me alive, I'm sure. But for Itsumi's sake, I'll face them. Yes, I I'll do it. Just go clean yourself up, okay? As you wish, Koji. I probably just signed my death warrant. But if it's for Itsumi, then that's okay. After that nightmarish day, we finally finish. It's dark when we leave the cafe. You did well, Koji. Also, thank you for giving me time to clean up. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. I barely had time to even catch my breath today. It didn't really... I didn't really have a problem with it, though. I... How do I tell her? I just didn't like the idea of those guys perving on you like that. It... It just doesn't seem right to me. It may seem silly, since I obviously share the same feelings they do. But I don't like them looking at my childhood friend that way. We start to joke about it. I see. 
That actually makes me very happy, Koji. You still do care about me after all these years. Why wouldn't I care about you, Utsumi? I was worried that you were just being polite. But it seems you really do care. So she's uncertain, too. It's been a long time, after all. Of course I care about you. Why wouldn't I? Feelings can change with time. That's just how life is. Quietly, she fidgets on the spot. I'd like to walk with you for a while, Koji. If that's okay with you. Of course. I'm really, really tired after today. But spending time with Itsumi makes me feel less weary. You know what? I should probably say her name Itsumi Mario. I'm just going to say Itsumi because it sounds better. Lead the way then, Koji. Da 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 after work, Itsumi decided to come home with me. She doesn't even she doesn't look even the slightest bit tired after work. Koji, what you did today was really sweet. Why did you get so protective of me? I know you're using your appearance to get customers, but there has to be a limit to that, you know? If you're just going to let them stare at you like that, it just isn't right. But you're the one who saw my boobs earlier. Why are you suddenly so bashful about it? Isn't it different if it's me looking at them rather than a stranger? How so? Is there some reason why you don't want people to look at me? She's vicious with her questions tonight. Well, what guy wouldn't feel weird wouldn't feel weird if their friend was getting stared at like that? I see. Well, thank you. But you shouldn't worry about me, Koji. After all, I took up this job so that I could be independent. Independence isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Perhaps not, but it's more important to prove yourself. I was just thinking about something. About how nostalgia works. What do you mean? Well, when people look back, they think something was better than it is now. Like how the world was supposedly better or things like that. How does someone become so attached to something so mundane? Feelings aren't rational. They just take whatever form they want. A clam forms a pearl because of the grit in its mouth. So a small feeling can be wrapped with layers upon layers and eventually become smart something far bigger than it was. People aren't rational. They're emotional. So even the tiniest feeling can one day manifest itself as a roaring torrent. That was beautiful. That's what I think at least. Yeah, I think that's right. It's true. Even something as simple as an old photo of a mundane day. With time, the feelings that you have toward that photo can grow stronger and stronger. The preciousness of an object or a memory grows and grows with time. That's true. Why did you ask about something like that? I was just thinking back to the Christmases we spent together. Even if it seems like something really normal, it becomes precious with time. Yes, it really does. Now we're sitting here years later thinking back on it. That is just part of growing older, I think. Remembering the past fondly, even if what you did was normal and nothing out of the ordinary. Emotions make the normal extraordinary. That's just how it is. So, if you think about it like that. Were her feelings for me similar? I'd like to think that I'm not a bit of a grit that a clam wrapped mother of pearl around. But I admit that it's an excellent metaphor. Now then, I need to go. I'll talk to you later, Koji. Goodbye, Itsumi. So, if her feelings were like grit, then how much has she wrapped them up after all these years? I don't know. And with that, we're going to pause it. So thank you very much. Oh, sweet. We're up to a second page already. Thank you very much for watching this episode. We will be back. I'm Splinter Soul God. I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care.